Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Give yourself a big hug. You got to love yourself first. That is correct. So I was talking to my son who had a date the other night. He said, Mama had a virtual date, a virtual date. I said, how does that work? He said, well, we downloaded the same app, watched a movie, pop popcorn, and we had fun. I said, did you kiss goodnight? I just couldn't imagine how a virtual date works. A lot of virtual stuff going on, a lot of hybrid stuff. Who knows? The future could be hybrid dating. Uh, we might go out, we might not. I'll see you on the screen. Who knows? <laughs> but I do remember years ago, I spoke in Winchester, Virginia, and it was a lot of fun. Country folk, good hearted people. And I, the mall was across the road. So I said, I'm just going to walk around the mall a little bit for my speech. And Victoria's Secret got stuck in my head. I saw the shop there. And so I said during the speech randomly, I said, hey, y'all need to go get your wife some fancy lingerie from Victoria's Secret. Well, after the speech, a woman came up to me and she said, now, don't you think I don't appreciate them high drawers my husband gets me from Walmart, but they come up to here, they're them high water ones. But they not at all fancy. She said, I was just thinking about fancy lingerie. And you know what? The only thing I got in my house that is French cut is my green beans. <laughs> now, I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> she made me laugh, that's for sure. But years ago at our little tiny country church, we had a minister and he shared a Valentine's message. And it was so funny. And there was one story I remember that just stuck out in my head about a young man who moved to a small town and became quite smitten with a young lady. So he just fantasized about maybe her even looking his way and he couldn't believe it. She asked him to dinner on Valentine's night. So he went to the only pharmacy in town and bought three boxes of candy. He had a plan, a small box, a medium box and a large box. So as he was checking out, the pharmacist was kind of curious. He said, my goodness, you must be popular with the ladies. He said, no, not really, just one. One young lady gets all three boxes, small, medium, large. She said, well, I guess I can tell you. I am invited to her home on Valentine's night. And if she just holds my hand, I'll give her that little box. But if she kisses me on the cheek, she gets the medium-sized box. But honey, if she keeps on kissing, she gets that big old box. So the night arrived, <laughs> they were seated around the table with the family and the father looked at the young man and said, son, would you please return thanks? I mean, that prayer went on and on and on. And after the meal, the young lady looked at him and said, my goodness, I didn't know you were so religious. He said, well, I didn't know your daddy was the pharmacist. <laughs> oh, that's too cute. Well, enjoy Valentine's Day. Love yourself. And I've got some products down here. If anyone's interested, you can check out the, the link and get some comedy, some singing and uh, books or whatever. But uh, I'm also doing some shows, some fun comedy shows with some music and just little venues and starting to get things cranked up in that direction and conventions. And so it's nice to get back on the road, but take care of yourself. And once again, happy Valentine's Day. And I hope you have a very special, special celebration with you and your loved ones. Thank you.